We are marching right for Decision 2016. One of the biggest players in the race for the Republican presidential nomination in 2016 was in West Michigan today. U.S. Senator Rand Paul just left New Holland Brewing Company for a fundraiser during the second half of a two-day tour in our state. 24-Hour News 8's Evan Dean is live in Holland tonight. He got a chance to talk with the senator, the presidential hopeful, and he's live in downtown Holland for us right now. Evan, good evening. Elian, good evening to you. Now, despite the fact that Michigan has a Republican governor and our state's House and Senate are both controlled by Republicans, Michigan has traditionally been a tough state for Republicans to win in past presidential elections. But Rand Paul believes he can be the first Republican nominee to win Michigan since George H.W. Bush did it back in 1988. That's why he's asking people in West Michigan for their vote. Here he is greeting people in downtown Holland earlier today. He met up with U.S. Representative Justin Amash and other local leaders about his goals for our country. And one of those goals is to broaden the Republican Party. He's talked in length about how the GOP needs to find a better way to reach minorities in the U.S. Now, Senator Paul has also gotten a lot of attention for his take on the U.S. tax code, saying he wants to destroy it. Take a look, even posting this picture from his Instagram account. The plan he's unveiled would create a 14 and a half percent flat tax for all Americans. Now, according to the latest Economist poll, Senator Paul currently sits tied for second in the race for the GOP nominee, behind frontrunner Donald Trump and tied with Jeb Bush. But in a race that currently has more than a dozen candidates, Senator Paul says those polls aren't that important. He says what Republicans should be focusing on is nominating someone who can beat the Democrats' top candidate. One of the things we've been talking a lot about as we've gone around the country is that in five states won by President Obama, we're actually leading Hillary Clinton. Michigan that was won by President Obama, we don't lead Hillary Clinton, but we're ahead of all other Republicans against Hillary Clinton, and we think that shows that we have the best chance to beat Hillary Clinton in the fall. Now, coming up on 24-Hour News 8 at 10 and 11, you'll hear much more from Senator Paul and Leon. We're also going to tell you what he thinks about Donald Trump leading in the latest polls. For now, we are live in Holland. Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.